This is America. We have the founding fathers that wrote the Constitution that we haven't lived by in 142 years. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's doing fine. I really do. You know, the title on this video is a catchy one. But it's so true. Russia, China, and the U.S. They are playing the propaganda New World Order game. They trying to give you a New World Order. Putin says it in a speech that he made on October the 14th, 2000, I think it's 14th, might be the 29th, can't remember exactly, 2014, I do remember that. China, yesterday, is making their little statement about the China Sea. The United States has got Jade Helm and a rebel flag conflict. That is nothing more than your history. But they got all the other stuff in the right place, right? <clears throat> now this is going to fall out two ways, folks. In my opinion, it's going to fall out two ways. Number one they're repeating history showing you that they're repeating history with some new added twist to it because it's been so long like not just burning books whether it was porn or propaganda or communism it doesn't matter I don't care what they were burning they were burning books period they've done that in the past Bunches of books by bunches of different people of different countries for whatever the reason. But yet, the federal government is doing the same thing with the rebel flag. Just like I stated in one of the videos that I made earlier. Now, whether or not this reaches to enough people or the web page since it's been down twice now in the last two days for whatever the reason may be um, and malware attacks as well for whatever the reason may be it's like this folks if we the people worldwide since this is not just a state by state thing in the United States this is worldwide and we got countries that are going holding their money in the banks keep people from running on all over in a couple of different countries I think no for one for sure they talk that same thing here in the United States every day the dollar is going to crash China and Russia make a deal to do trade for oils and fuels with 
their own currency to do away with the petrodollar. Russia has already done away with the petrodollar. Didn't it seem logical to y'all <clears throat> that someone in the propaganda game is playing their game their way to create the new world order that they want and Russia and China is not playing the same game. In fact, it looks as if there is a lot of people playing that game. And they all think they're going to get a piece of the pie. I'm sorry about the little pot belly. The pot belly is stopping the English bulldog from coming in the yard. Because she don't want her next to her favorite person, which is me. You picked the damnedest times to come out here, girlfriend. <laughs> but anyway, folks, worldwide, what gave me that information, the link that's going to be in the below section, in the bottom part of the page where Putin comes out and gives a speech, that most of us looked over wasn't a big thing to do on it because I didn't see it now it might have been a big thing and a lot of people may have seen it but if you read it you read it all the way through he talks about the new world order but he's not going to play the game or going to sit and talk straight to one another and blunt Well, but he says that there could be a new world order. Hmm. And we've all heard China say the same thing. So, which one of them, worldwide now, which one of those folks, which one of those countries, has got the most power? and going to do the most. Well, they've already come out and said that the United States, we all know this, is the world's police. China, I mean Russia, in his little, uh, Putin said in his little speech that nobody going to force us change our world but yet said that we could have a new world order so basically what I'm saying folks and China has come out with all their propaganda like their little video that they had where all these people sitting in front of this guy and he's talking about we're going to destroy them from the inside and they're gonna buy everything from us well we pretty much already do that don't we we don't make nothing in this country folks we really are becoming a third world country because of the greed and the selfishness amongst other things that I just don't want to repeat because I don't want to get upset about it. Too busy to pay attention. Just want to play the game. <laughs> want to get in and play for a minute. Show a little bit of something never really do the right thing
for all of you that are out there, and I'm being straight up, if we, the people, we, the people, worldwide, don't stand up for our God-given rights of being a sovereign person and having our own sovereign free property then everything else everything else is just a bona fide lie to steal your rights and your freedoms worldwide it doesn't make one country or another Canada I mean England can't have guns Australia can't have guns. Rights has already been stolen in those countries. They're working on it very hard in this one. We got to do something, folks. Worldwide. Not just here in the United States, but worldwide. Because we got puppet masters running all our countries they belong to the elite Putin says something about the elite well he belongs to the elite too when he said when he said straight out of his own mouth when he said we have a good chance to make it a new world order and having a great democracy right there he lost all respect for me right off the get-go he talks about fixing the world and figuring out why problems are the way they are <laughs> and then he says democracy which is my rule. Everyone's smart enough to look up the word for themselves and see the definition of democracy and find out that democracy means mob rule. I'm so sick of that word. It's a word that needs to be in my opinion <coughs> if I had the power I wish that I could delete it from history, but I can't, and I don't want to. I just would like to get it out of our lives now, because worldwide, they're trying to give you a new world order democracy, and that's my rule. So in other words, ISIS and Russia, not Russia, but ISIS and thugs like that that are supposed to be real will just get worse. Ferguson, New York, all them places that's had their rights. That's mobs, right? That's a mob. Gone wild. So you think about it, folks. Yeah, you think about it. Propaganda was destroying our world. Jade Ham, Russia, China, with their propaganda and the U.S. I'm not leaving them out. Don't let's don't leave out England. Let's don't leave out Australia. All the major governments that have leaders all playing this new world order propaganda game Fukushima 9-11 all of that shit was to create like daddy Bush said like daddy Bush said a new world order and we will succeed he said quoting him remember 
And then his son run for election, and he won. Didn't he? His, his brother was the governor of Florida. They had a big problem here in Florida. But he come out winning. And now his brother's running for president. Hmm. Is that a good thing? Well, let me answer you this way. In my opinion, hell no. Hell no. From my cold, dead hands. Abolish corporate government for you freedoms, folks. And I damn well mean it. And I don't mean that just for me. I meant that worldwide to all of you. You all have to stand up. And we all have to fight the corporate entity that is worldwide. That is trying to take your sovereignty and freedoms completely away where you have to pay rent on property that you're paying for they're leasing it to you and you're paying for it all in the same aspect worldwide it happens everywhere in the world driver's license birth certificates fingerprints the whole nine yards now voice recognitions Next thing is going to be your eyeball recognition, thumbprints for everything you do. Much love to y'all. Y'all have a good day. And for one more time, from my cold dead hands, abolish corporate government for your freedoms. Much love to y'all. Y'all have a great day now, you hear? Don't forget to follow Tattoo1009.com on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, and damn the motion and stumble upon please help spread the word by sharing our articles on your favorite social networks, go to the links in the below section for updates every day. From my cold dead hands abolish the corporate government.